Uh, so do I need to do this? You need to mute.
Okay, is this, can you hear me now? Okay, perfect, thank you, miigwech. Okay, so we just ran through, um, we just ran through these responses and we're gonna go ahead and move along. So the first couple of slides are a review of what we've already done. Um, Reagan isn't here today, so um, just bear with me, please. Okay, Nijesh Nagazia, does anyone want to introduce themselves? Oh, I'll go first, I guess. So, Bajigwekwe, Nish Nikas, Jigwe, Odoro, Kama, Oklahoma, and Dochbia, Bodewa, Nikwe, and Dao, Shishibini, Nidabin, Dogwoods. So, a couple things that we, we added via Dochbia, I don't know if we've done that before, but that's just where you're from. And then today we added Cho, Nagi, Kidnesi, Nodo, and that's just, I don't know my clan. So, we added that as a option two. So anybody want to introduce themselves? making connections. Anybody online want to introduce themselves? Can you can you re repeat what each line means? Oops. Uh, yeah, for sure. So the first line, you'll say your name first, and then it's I am called. So Stormy and Dejnikos. Second line is your clan. So I would say Jigway. Oh, and the little, because that in rep, rep, that in is like, ah, you're talking about yourself. The third line is where you're from. So, Kama, Oklahoma, and Doge Piaw. Um, the fourth line is Bodewadmi, and Dow, I am Potawatomi. And then Shishibani, Nedabin Dogwas, is I am enrolled citizen band, which um, I know not everyone is, but that's what we're having here and then Cho McKinden Sin Ndoro is I don't know my clan so you could replace the clan part with that statement if you don't and um, Warby you can go ahead Dak Nidishnikas Chong Niged Kestisen Nidodem Washington Nidok Baya Badawadami Nida Shishibeni Nidipanigwa. Nabanad. Nedavan Dog West. Good job. Spencer, would you or Michael Nidas Nikas? Nidas Nikas. Michael Nidas Nikas. Oh no. Donna Nidam. Washington, Nidas, Baya, Bada Watami, Nanada, Sisabani, Nad and Bandagua. Good job. Yeah, that's good. Anyone else? Spencer, Nidas, Nikas, Nichon, Negan, Nidas, Nidodam, Washington Nadots Baya Badwad me Nada Sisi Bani Nidal Bandagwas. Good job. Okay, does that wrap up your crew work? I want to give it a try. Devin Nidajnekaj California or no. Doding. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. I, I, I don't yeah, no, good. Thank you for trying. So Devin and Dejnikos, and then if you don't know your clan, the 
Chone, again, then Seen and Dolodon, and then California and Dochbyal, Bodiwan, me and now. Shishibani, Nedevin Dogwood. I'll I'll go. I'll try. Bozo, Nicole, Ndejnikas, Cho, Nke, Nge Kendesen, Ndodem, Illinois, Ndoch, Aya, Miigwech. Miigwech, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Okay, moving that along. <clears throat> so um, I put our words from last week on there, so we'll just say them once out loud and then all together. Um, so Bojo. How? Hello, Nijana, how are you? Nija S. Bamazian. Good. Hey, there's corn soup and fry bread over there too, y'all. Um, Onway Shushana. Nija Onway. Keep Kosh. Good. Inja. Nija Eshigayin, Mano Wabin, Mano Gishnakwe. Yeah, so that was good morning and then good afternoon, Mano Gishnakwe, and then Mano Debeket. Good. Bama P. Bama Mina. Bama Mina and Goji. Good. Mom Cat Gamuk. Annette. Sam. Gago. Gago. Really rather Gago. Bagedji. Godek. Get a bitch. Good. Okay. And then there's some more on this one. Oh, the question word. So we went over these um, last week, I think at the end. So we didn't do a, a lot, but so you, you know, use these to ask a question. So we'll go ahead and do those out loud. Um, Wenija. Wegnija. That was who and then what? Nija P, Nija We, Napija, Nija, and then Nija Yi. So we'll go ahead and do those over again. Wanija, who? Wagnija, what? Nija P, when? Nija we why Napija where Nija that's kind of how or what too just depends and then Nija ye yay all right good job okay so now we're gonna move on into our new stuff um Oh, and that's okay, Devin. I don't know either. I thought I did it, honestly. But um, this time, so what we're going to talk about this time was food. So you could either say we snowin or medium. They're both, they both mean food. Um, so sorry, I can't send you on the virtual corn soup, but I made some corn soup and ordered fried bread from fried bread tacos. So um, I hope y'all enjoy. Yeah. So um, these are just a couple of terms, and then we're going to do kind of our um, 
The rest of it is just all about food, my favorite subject. So we'll go ahead and say these out loud and then repeat them. So if you notice, like here's our what, we just said that, Wednesia, Wajan, Dayan. Wednesia, Wajan, Dayan. Yeah, what are you cooking? Wednesia, Wajan, Dayan. What are you cooking? Um, and then we went ahead and put, I put breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, Keisha or Keisha, we win, or Wapen, we win. The Gesha we snow in, that's like, Gesha is like when the first, when the sun first came up, like before it gets light, you know what I mean? Like early, early in the morning. So you could really say either one, but Wabin's kind of like when most of us would really actually have breakfast. So it's either Gesha or Wabin we snow in, breakfast. Now Quay we snow in, is lunch. Now Quay we snow in. Piconia, we snow in. Good. Dinner, supper. Vietnam, e sitagen. So that sitagen is salt. And then Vietnam, e sitagen is passive salt. Yep. And then via we sin or via we snuck. So via we sin would be come eat telling one person, but if you're telling a group of people, it would be we, be a we snip, because that EK is how we make it plural. So be a we snip, be a we snip. Good, and then gabukte ne, are you hungry? And then if you were asking multiple people, it would be gabuktam ne. Yeah, so the response, to that, I would always say, eh, but say I'm hungry. Um, or one might say, cho, the but tasty, mija, mija. So, no, I'm not hungry. I already ate. Cho, but tasty, mija. Oh, what? Did you <laughs> yeah, see, no, I never do that. Just tradition of work. Anytime anyone else offers me food, I'm definitely there. Okay, so, and then we snow in e dopunek. We snow in e dopunek. Yeah, I can know we get. So that food is on the table, like ready to eat. Let's get it. And then ketchup, nay. Get it, get the tone. Yeah, so that's do you have ketchup? Ketchup, nay, get a tone. So the way it breaks down is nay symbolizes that we're asking a question. Get a tone is like, do you have it? So you can even say, see a target, nay, get a tone. Do you have salt? Um, fry bread, nay, get a tone. Do you have fry bread? So that's a good. I try to pick stuff that like you could you could like say what you want to say, you know. So we can go over them again. So Wenisha Wajan Dayan. Yeah, what are you cooking? And then we got Geshep Wap Geshep Wisnuin or Wabin Wisnuin. Now play we snowin. Paconia we snowin. And then Vietnam e see a And then be a we snip. And be a we snip. And then Gabuk Tane. Gabuk Tamne. And Bakte Cho Bakte Si Nija Nija Bakte Si Nija Nija. We don't really need practice on that anyway. We snowin e dope with it. Good. Ketchup, nay, good. 
good, 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 good. Oh, I got to get used to once I click it, then it just moves. So I put some food on here. Um, so we'll just go over them. It's kind of hard to see now that I'm looking at it up here. But uh, we'll just start at the top. Ndamen is corn. Ndamen. Kojasuk. Bean, so that's plural. Questman, squash. And then, um, the way that... Yep, that was weird. Ah, that's weird. Why did it do that? Oh, maybe it's coming back. This is just the presenter view. Hey, I have a question. Um, the projector just popped and turned off. <laughs> I know. I know what I do. It might be the light. It might be the lights um, yeah. for the projector. It might have blown or it might have gotten hot. I know it's been popping, but like it popped and went off this time. And then the wall play, I can get the wall play back on. Okay, well, I know there's not like a reset because the blue button's still on, so it looks like it's still on. Oh, now it's showing like scribbles. It just like popped in. Okay, well. Yeah, they need to come up here and spend more than like 15 minutes up here fixing it because it's not permanent. I don't know. Okay, I'm in the middle, so I guess I better go. Okay, bye. No, it's fine. Did all of y'all get a handout? No. No? We could share. I guess we could do it without it. I don't really know how to, nobody knows how to fix it. Well, no one's here. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> roll with it. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's been popping. And then this is what controls it, but it won't turn it back on. The screen or that? I know, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm sorry, y'all. One sec. No. Okay, so do we have enough papers where we could share yeah. kind of? Are y'all the only one without papers? Okay. Um, let me see what this. Huh, what should we do? So I guess we could just say them out loud. I'll give you the papers, okay? Let's just see if we can get through this and then I'll go print them. Okay, sorry. If you can hear me, then um, we just left our... Oh, y'all can see it fine. Yeah, everything's off my laptop, but we can actually see it. But we'll go ahead and run through this word list. Um, 
So we got we got endowment, which was corn, kojacek beans, questman squash, and then um, on the papers it says Nishnabe Manoman, which Manoman is just rice. So we could just go with Manoman. Wapgone. Wapgone is pumpkin. Meanin. Blueberries. Damon. Strawberry. And then we got Pinnick or Pinnick potatoes. Mashiman apple. And then we got Vito Bequeshkin sandwich. Vito Bequeshkin. So that Vito is like in between something, and then the Bequeshkin is like bread. And then we got Vito Jisqueshkin pie. And then Yoss. No, I lied. Zosco Quaytuk is, yeah, Zosco Quaytuk is actually something fried. Like you could use it short for fried bread, but technically it would be like Zosco Quaytuk, the question, fried bread. But, um, so Zosco Quaytuk could work for anything fried. And then the next part was Mbo Pnavo Wabo. It indicates it's a liquid or a soup. So in both Nabo, Wabo. So uh, to say corn soup, it would be in Dom Nabo. Uh -huh. And then potato soup would be Penny Wabo. And I guess you could like intertwine those. I don't know why I did two different ones. But uh, the next part was like meat. So what you do to indicate like you're eating meat like an animal, you would add weos to the end of it. And you don't add the weos, then it's like you run up to a chicken and like bite its head off if you just said BD, you know? So you could say BD weos. That would be chicken. And then you could say kakosh weos. So that's like pork, but um, Justin uses a lot for like bacon. And then Bashaki Wios, that would be beef. And then Suxi Wios, that would be like deer meat. And then um, I just put a note that if you say Gigo, like fish is Gigo, you don't have to add the Wios, like it's it's just good Gigo. I don't know though, I don't know why though, you look like you're questioning it, but <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me, just it is like that. So we also after the animal indicates that it's meat to be eaten. So it takes the animal from being like an animate living creature to like being able to be inanimate and eaten. Section is Manekwe when Manekwe when adding the when to the end of the word makes it a drink. So manek way when. And then this is a mouthful, but this is how you say, are you thirsty? And it's the gosh cannot bag way nay. Yeah, the gosh cannot bag way nay. Yeah, good job. What do we guess? Uh huh. And then, so I put three or two answers of the response. So that GG, that G in, indicates the you. Are you thirsty? Gagosh canal bag wene. So to answer, it would be in gosh canal bag wene. Yeah, good. You change that G to talking about yourself with the N. So it'd be in gosh, kana bag when eh. I gotta plug it before I have another crisis on my hands. Okay. 
come back with an A. Yes, I am thirsty. Um, no, I am not thirsty. Would be Cho and Gosh can all bag with an A. C. So Cho and Gosh can all bag with an A. C. No, it's not. I'm throwing an in, nay in there and it should be there. So Cho and Gosh can all bag with C. I just couldn't be sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Cho Ngosh Kanaw bag with C. So that Cho at the front and then that C at the end indicates it's a negative or like a no answer. So if we run through all these again, um, so to say drink would be Manekwe Wen. Yeah, and then to ask, are you thirsty? Gagosh kana bag with ne. Good, good job, Paige. And then I am thirsty. Nagosh kana bag with. Mm-hmm. Nagosh kana bag with. I am thirsty. To say no, I am not thirsty. Cho nagosh kana bag with see. Cho and Gosh Canal Bag West Sea. And then I threw in Mbish Kada Menequan. And that's you can drink water. Mbish Kana or Mbish Kada Menequan. Good, yeah. So moving along on the next page, we just got Manekwe when same word drink. And then I got I gave some examples of what you may drink. So um bish, bish, and then coffee is coffee, coffee, tea is just tea, and then wishkababo. Wishkababo um, would be like a, it, we use it for pop, but it would be any sort of sweet drink, like Kool Aid, anything like that. Wishkababo. And then if you notice, these are these are ending in avo, like we talked about, to indicate that it was a liquid. So this like literally would translate to like sweet drink. And then the next one is Mashimnabo. That would be apple juice. Mashim, Mashim Nabo. Uh huh. And then the next one is Nonakiabo. That's milk. Nonakiabo. Uh huh. And then Shomanabo. Shomanabo would be grape juice. So to go over the Minikwe Win, we would do Mbish. Coffee, tea, wish kababo, mission novel, no not kiabo, show me novel. Good. So those were some examples of drink. Moving. Yeah, mish, 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 yeah, yeah. So you just add that albo on there to indicate that it's a liquid. Okay, here we go. I know, real random. I just threw that in there. <laughs> you know, water. <laughs> um, I wish my PowerPoint was working. This is so sad. Okay, so I put the to move on to like the seven grandfathers teachings this week. We use Mbakawan, which is wisdom. Mbakawan. 
Good. So um, <laughs> it reads, to cherish knowledge is to know wisdom. Use your inherent gifts wisely and live your life by them. Recognize your differences and those of others in a kind and respectful way. Continuously observe the life and all things around you. So I think that plays in like a video that the language department has too. But um, I just liked this. So I threw that up there. And we're going to talk all together about what wisdom really means to us because it's kind of difficult, you know, to think about it if you think about it because we could all have so many different opinions of what wisdom would be. So why is wisdom important to you? So I wrote um, what I what I kind of think is the knowledge aspect of wisdom. I wrote it as critical as Anishinaabe people to put ourselves in places where we can learn our language, songs, dances, ceremonies that we will have. Um, that way we will have the power of knowledge to pass on to our next generation. So, of course, knowledge goes hand in hand with wisdom. You have to put yourself out there and put yourself in places to be able to learn. We're all going to be continuously learning. So, just wanted to say, miigwech to put yourself in this space. So, I probably can't teach you everything, and you might already know what I'm teaching you anyways, but look, you're here. So, miigwech to that. Um, I also put respect as a part of wisdom. I personally think to have wisdom is to show respect, to observe and be kind to your surroundings. And I think it's a great example of being wise, the type of environment that you create for others, being wise in the way that you treat people. So that was kind of my own personal thoughts um, of wisdom, you know, like someone who possesses wisdom and would use that grandfather teaching wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily make others feel less than they would always be aware of like the people and crowds that you're in to be able to carry yourself to where everybody feels respected and such. Oh, and then I was going to, let's see. We were gonna talk about it here. Right here, okay, here it is. Sorry that y'all can't see, but, um. So I put, we all had to take the time today. We all had to take the time today to think about when because you're here to learn. You're here to like gather knowledge and put yourself in a place where you can learn to possess wisdom. So chi miigwech for that choice. We all have to learn together and we all have to rise together. What I put on this, if you skip a couple pages past that feast and fast, there's a picture that says the firekeeper's daughter. Have any of y'all read this book? Oh, it's so good. So I just finished it actually. So I put the picture of the cover. Um, while I bead, I have that Audible app. So I listen to books. And this was one of my favorite. Like I haven't, well, really, besides like children's books, I haven't ran across like a book written by like in this Nishnabe way. So this was the first example of a book that I saw that actually had like talked about the seven grandfather teachings, talked about things that we do as Anishinaabe people. The characters were Ojibwe, but you know, it's all part of that Three Fires Council. So the mind frame was the same. So I really enjoyed this book and I highly suggest it. What I wrote on here was, although it's in Ojibwe, the book that I just finished possesses a lot of knowledge that you would recognize about our teachings, the seven grandfathers and life as Anishinaabe person. In this book, the main character offers Thema each morning at this specific tree, and she asks the creator for one of the seven grandfather teachings that she could use whatever she may be facing that day. She says the word in the language and, and kind of gives a reason as to why she thinks she needs to possess that value that day. I've never really done that, but it implemented, but I have implemented this into my thinking. Um, at the, oh yeah, I implemented this into my thinking at the time where I need to pray or just decide, I think about which of the seven grandfather teachings or values that I could possess or recognize within myself to help me through what I'm facing. So I was going to go ahead and have us all pick, um, let's share a short example 
that we can remember at a time where we used a grandfather teaching to get us through our day. So I know we all's pages are messed up, and I'm sorry that we're all unorganized, but um, one of those pages have this seven grandfather teachings on there. If y'all are able to find them. You're probably uh, yeah, I'll come back. So if you know off the top of your head your grandfather's teachings, then you should do this. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit of, like I said, like we all had to possess the Bakawan um, wisdom teaching today to come to be able to learn and to be where knowledge is. So that's a good thing. But if anybody would like to share, here's a example. If anybody would like to share an example, anybody? No, not to? Okay. Yeah, I've been using or trying to use or trying to build a Makwa win lately through <laughs> patience. I feel like patience is part of wisdom and I've had to be very patient lately. And I feel that's something that a lot of my matriarchs, my aunties have taught me every time I talk to them about something, they're always telling me about how they have to be patient and our arts teach them patience. Yeah, I know that. That's not true. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, yeah, no, I stayed at the corner. I don't have to go the way, but I'm I'm in Melbourne lately. <clears throat> but um, one of the things I I've I've been trying to practice for myself is respect. You know, learning how to respect is one of the hardest things that myself and I know other people have um, have a hard time with that word because they don't know the true meaning of what respect is. And being an elder and a matriarch, <clears throat> we learn that we need to learn how to respect one another in order to be become one. <clears throat> um, oh, exactly. Yeah, right. You may have heard me when you say it, we're this to one, but we're this to one. Bravery. And it's not just being brave like, oh, I'm strong, I'm brave, I can do this. But it's also, I have personal truth written down here, and being brave is uh, well, kind of what I'm doing right now, speaking to everyone, and uh, being out here, and meeting new people, that's kind of a bravery for me. And especially for my sister, who's not here, because she's ill. <laughs> but, um, Bravery doesn't just mean um, flexing your muscles. It means being able to be brave in your own mind, to step up to what needs to be done. And if you see something that you can stand up for, lesser, um, lesser people that don't have a voice, I think that's part of bravery also, standing up for those that don't speak or can't speak. That looks so. <laughs> and mine is the the Bono one. The Bono one. The Bono one. Mm -hmm. Good. Know, uh, love. Without love, you don't have the wisdom and the respect, and honesty, bravery, humility, and truth. 
And I have found that with love, you have the courage to step up and do things that you're not comfortable with. And you have respect for your elders. And it's, and you just want to train the ones coming up. Yeah, me glitch. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick just one on this list. Um, bravery, um, going out and doing things differently, putting myself, put myself out there and living my own confidence. Um, wisdom to be knowledgeable and just be in the moment and not try to live for the next day, but just be here now. And honesty and humility, being able to say, hey, you're up, but it's okay. You're going to do it. You're going to keep trying. Yeah, me glitch. Thank you. One sec, I'll come back and get this. <laughs> no, that was all good. That's what I wanted. Thank you so much. Um, it's always nice to look at it from like a different standpoint because it does take a lot to just be here, you know. Um, that's a really big form of bravery. That's something that I struggle with. I didn't think I would be doing this without Reagan, but here I am. Good job. Yeah, me glitch. Okay, so we talked about, I, I mixed up my slides, but at least we got the pages back. I don't know. I don't know why it messes up. Just to see, creator just wants to see how I'm going to think on my toes. Okay, so let me skip through here. Um, but that was a grandfather teaching that I chose to do. And I think that, you know, like Ashley said, we can't have one without the other. That was like a really solid point because everything that I want to say about the grandfather teachings, it kind of like, they all do go hand in hand. I can't really pick one without another one. Um, and so we talked about Yvonne Carlin, I shared mine, y'all shared y'all, so me glitch. Um, the next two things that I wanted to talk about when we first started, um, we wanted to like make a space where people could ask cultural teachings and we could talk about it. But there's a real, it's really hard to kind of navigate through that because you don't really know where the boundary lies as far as what you want to share and what you want to be recorded and put on the internet and what you don't want. So um, we kind of just kind of keep it all gen general. And then um, we didn't really get a lot of feedback as far as like people jumping in and asking a lot of questions. So I just, when I started making this PowerPoint and talking about food and thinking about food, um, two of the things that would come up to me were fasting and feasting. So that's what I chose to go over today. A lot of the stuff that I'll say is just my personal, what I've been shared and stuff. And I don't speak for everybody and we're not all going to think the same ways, but should be along that same path. As long as everything's in a good way, I think it's okay. But um, so the first word is the word for fast, which is win. <laughs> So this would be a word for fast, like whenever you're set out on an actual fast. So it would be sustaining without food or water for days. Some people say, you know, it's four days. I've always heard and been taught um, you're out for as long, however long you need to find what you're searching for or whatever's going to come to you. Um, so it's always, I've always been told, like anytime you go into a sweat lodge or whenever you're put out to fast, it's not like a strong man competition where you're gonna like push yourself and see what all you can do. It's like, you're, you know, you're there for a purpose and you're there for a reason. So once that's fulfilled, then there's no longer that need for suffering. Um, so 
the word literally means like that mkene is the black, like to blacken your face. And so the word literally means to blacken one's face. You would black your face while you fast. Um, we talked about, you did that. So if someone were to come up to you in the woods, like back in the old days, they would know like, they would know what you're doing. So they know that, okay, we're not gonna disturb them while they're fasting. We're not gonna offer them food because their face is blackened with like, like I've seen people like use your ashes from the, your sweat lodge rocks. Cause some people sweat before they fast. And, so it would be to blacken one's face. I thought it was neat because um, this is a word, is one of the examples of how our language, you know, I put, this is a good example of, te of the teaching being in the word goes to show how our words in Bodewa Mainwen hold much more than just being a one dimensional thing. So although the Mkedekwewen is the word for fast, it holds that teaching of like, it's to literally black in one's face. Like it holds all of that in just that one word. It's not just a word essentially. Um, I've always been told that you don't really talk about your fast. It's not to be boasted about. It's a spiritual thing that's yours and the creators and nobody else's. Um, everybody that I know that's been put out, they don't, you know, like hold a conference a year later and be like, okay, I see this, this, and this, like, just not, it's not how you roll with it. So fasting. And then um, also, whenever I was talking about it with Justin, he wanted to mention that, um, like back in the day, like they would put kids out. So they would like kids, you know, maybe go from like sun up to sun down, and they wouldn't like send them out on like a four day fast. But any, I've always been told that any, any sort of fast is okay. Like not everyone goes four days or overnight or anything. You could sustain from anything. I, I mean, I struggle whenever my doctor's appointment's at one and I don't eat for 12 hours, which is not the same, but a struggle in itself. And so the next one is go shui wen. Go shui wen. So that's the word um, for feast. Go shui wen. On this one, I put many different reasons to feast traditionally. Um, just to give some examples, a seasonal feast, which I've always been told gives thanks for the ending season and welcomes the new season in a good way. There's clan feast, there's a jibakwe or a memorial feast after a loved one has passed. You, um, some people do jabakwe's like every October. Some people, or I've seen a lot of uh, exactly one year after your loved one's passed, having a memorial dinner and breaking away from your mourning. Um, we talked about a feast after a naming ceremony, and then you should always be who named you. At a feast, an important thing to understand is that you are expected to consume any food that you put on your plate, which sounds a little weird when you put it up there, but I think that it goes along with like respect and wisdom and the fact that, you know, like waste not want not. You don't just like, just as it's called a feast, like you're not a golden corral, you know, like just be respectful. And also you have to make sure that there's enough food to pass. Um, so you're expected to take food when it's offered and eat it. So you would center all sneak like, I don't want that. You should try not to waste food or decline the invitation to eat. That's just kind of common courtesy. It is common for the three sisters to be served along with wild rice, um, some sort of meat and berries. So that's pumpkin, squash, beans, and corn, three sisters. And feast won't always be the same. It's nice to have a win and wrong. Forgot my E outlet. One thing that should happen is um, that a spirit plate be made before everyone eats. A small portion of all the dishes be taken out and then should be fed to the fire along with a sima tobacco offering and then followed by a little bit of water as well. If there's not a fire, then it's okay to prepare the spirit plate. Maybe you would put it in the place of Maybe a loved one would set. Um, I know a lot of times if you're, you know, having ceremonies places, people set certain 
places every time. I mean, that's just how it is. And um, so maybe you could offer their spirit plate where they would have sat if they would have been there. So that's just some things to think about. Does anyone want to share any anything added to it? Any personal experiences? Me? No. Okay, so moving along from fast and feast, I put some terms you may hear at a feast or a ceremony. So that first term is kekyaljak natum, kekyaljak natum, elders first. So I wrote, we should always take care of our elders first, and if they are not able to prepare their own plate, we should be waiting to do it for them. Um, we should always make sure our elders are taken care of. The next term is Gage Madmoen Natum Gawamche Awisne Yigo. Gage Madmoen Natum Gawamche Awisne Yigo. And that's just a little term that, or a little sentence you could use to let's all pray before we eat. Um, the third one was manokwe. Manokwe is, it tastes good. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. And then the next slide is, um, we just came up with like a simple prayer that could be shared when praying for food. Um, me and Justin had a long conversation today about praying, you know. Um, I know like, when you look into Catholicism, there's specific prayers for whatever you're doing. And our prayers aren't really like that. You can kind of blend them. If you notice, this is a lot like our class or prayer we begin class with, but this is just something that you could use if you, if you need to, um, we can say it out loud. A how mama go snon. Miigwech jok shigego gog ishoyan. Yeah, that's, thank you for all you have created. Miigwech mano gishkep. Thank you for this good day. Mina Miigwech Oda Mano Bamagwa. And thank you for this good life. Miigwech Oda Wisnawin Wa Amich Yigo. Miigwech Oda Wisnawin Wa Amich Yigo. Eo. Yeah, so we'll say it all together um, and not pause. Y'all can say it with me. Aha, mama goes non, miigwech, jok shigego, gog ishoyen, miigwech, mano gishkep, mina, miigwech, oda, mano, bamadalan, miigwech, oda, wisnawan, wa, imich, ego. Yeah. Yeah, so it had it don't have to be, you know, like a long drawn out prayer. This is thank you for all you have created. Thank you for this good day and thank you for this good life and thank you for this food we are going to eat. The end. Okay. So we talked about this book already, and then we all shared a seven grandfathers teaching. I'm sure you can, yeah. I just downloaded it off Audible, but I don't think it's super new. I think it's been out for a while because I saw on, like I looked at, um, or where I got this picture, I was Amazon and it was like $5 on there to like order the book and buy it. Yeah, it's good. Um, yeah, it was interesting. I liked it. And then that was all that I had for today, actually. Um, do you all want to say the seven grandfather teaching words aloud? So we're working on those. Okay. Um, love is the bond all in. 
Good. Respect. What is Tom Nolan? Yes. Bravery. What is Honesty. What is Good. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Humility. Edbestendwin. Good. And truth. Deb Waywin. Good. Yeah. Thank you. And then the last slide was just Chima Gwetch for being here. Please join us next week. And then to put it on your radar, week seven, I know we're at week three right now, so I'm up. Week, oh, there we go, we're done. <laughs> week seven, we're gonna wait and do numbers. And then um, Justin gave us to go ahead and do bingo and have prizes. So we're gonna have good prizes. He actually had bought us a cricket. Um, like a cricket and a heat press, like to make to make stuff like with the language on it. And so we have like koozies and a couple shirts and stuff like that we can make. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, but that's all on Zoom. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks for bearing with us while we Yeah, miigwech. Thank <laughs> you.